As you've probably read in the news, bee populations worldwide have been decimated by something called colony collapse disorder. It's unclear what's caused this scourge. It could be pesticides, or parasites, or the environment, or all three. Biologists and epidemiologists are looking for a cure. But in the meantime, how can we effectively pollinate our crops? The answer might be drones. And I don't just mean male bees. I mean robots. Scientists at Harvard have created a robo-bee, a mini-drone that weighs only about 80 milligrams. That's one-thirtieth the weight of a U.S. penny. Its wings were designed to mimic those of the hoverfly, those tiny insects you've seen that look like bees or wasps, but beat their wings so quickly that they seem to be suspended in space. The robo-bee beats its wings over 100 times a second. But in order to stay so small and light, it can't rely on motors or gears to accomplish the feat. Instead, it uses something called piezoelectricity. Piezoelectric materials can convert electricity into motion. Electricity is fed to the robo-bee through wires and stimulates tiny strips of a piezoelectric ceramic to contract like artificial muscle. Each contraction moves the wings and makes them flap. These hovering drones are pretty impressive, but they're not quite ready for launch. First of all, there are no batteries small enough to power them. Right now, they're still connected to their electricity source with wires. And they don't yet have onboard computers to control their flight. But the hope is that one day the robo-bees will be untethered flyers, working together to solve problems like how to pollinate an orchard, at least while we look for ways to get the real bees back in action.